Story 53 Athlete Pete Words we know Lounge room Wash room Dining room Suitably Desperately Comfortably. Competition. Concession. Confession. Terrifying. Surprising. Imagining. Silence. Audience Balance Uninjured Unnoticed Unexciting Entwined Entangled Entrusted Precious, delicious, suspicious, believe, believing, disbelieving, activity, university. Opportunity Occasion Occasional Occasionally Science Scientific Scientifically New sounds. E something E, as in Pete. Compete. Millipede. Stampede. Athlete. Complete. Kerosene. Supreme Pete Centipede Concrete Extreme These Delete Obsolete Theme You as in music Stupid Student Music Pursuit Human Duty Usual Pupil Jewelry Hue Unite Menu Museum Junior Universe Uniform Truly Tunic 
Tutor Ruler Special words Honest Sympathize Ancient Twilight Pursuit Conscientious Gymnasium Coherent Grueling Eccentric Before attempting to read the story, learn how to say each special word. If necessary, check its meaning. Make up a sentence using each special word. Athlete Pete The senior students of the junior school had been given the theme of duty as their final writing topic of the year. Hugh had already tackled nine of these writing tasks. They always seemed to be about virtues, honesty, integrity, compassion, perseverance, commitment, and so on. And now, to top it all off, duty. All the pupils had their heads down working with extreme concentration, except Hugh. He couldn't concentrate, or at least it seemed too big an effort. Hugh knew that he was considered a good and conscientious pupil, and usually he was. But duty was just one essay theme too many. Hugh didn't know where to start. The final draft had to be completed by the next morning. There was no getting around this. It was his duty to complete it. But he couldn't drag his eyes away from the two centipedes that seemed to be having a personal war on the window ledge. Were they doing their duty, he wondered? Perhaps they should channel their energies into athletic pursuits. With all those legs, they must be, or at least could be, champion athletes. His mind wandered. Two minutes later, Hugh suddenly felt anxious. He had to write about duty. He needed an idea for a story. Wait! Fantastic! Hugh sat up with a jerk. This was it. Of course. A centipede's duty. Now his mind raced. Ideas came in from left, right and centre. Now to write them into something coherent. Hugh was thrilled with his brainwave. And here is what he wrote. Athlete Pete A story by Hugh Pete was a centipede with a magnificent athletic build and a deep love of music. These words may appear strange to humans, but centipedes come in all shapes and sizes, with a variety of likes and dislikes. Normally, of course, Centipedes like a shady nook in the ground to make their home in. However, I did hear once of an eccentric centipede who made her home on a kerosene tin, which was placed on a concrete slab in a hot, somewhat ugly corner of an old garage. Considering this, Pete, with his love of music, sounds quite reasonable. It is strange to think that any of us may have been born on the other side of the world. 
Pete could have been born in the noisy factory around the corner, or out the back of the milk bar next door. But we have no say as to where we start our lives. Pete was born in a compost heap opposite a fine music shop. Given his tastes, this was a wonderful coincidence. Daily, melodies floated over Pete and delighted his heart. Many centipedes sniggered and called him a dreamer, but Pete ignored this and enjoyed his life of melody. When he was about 22, in centipede years, he was faced with a dilemma. The millipedes, arch enemies of the centipedes, would stampede through the centipedes' playground under the railway bridge and frighten the young centipedes away. The chief of the centipede tribe met with the chief of the millipedes in an effort to resolve their conflict. The millipede chief demanded a challenge, a duel. The supreme millipede athlete would have to compete against the supreme centipede athlete. This would be a decathlon, ten events. If the centipede won, the bullying millipedes would have to stay away from the playground and leave the centipedes in peace. The centipede chief invited Pete to his headquarters in the old tyre. Pete, he said with calm dignity, our young centipedes are being terrorised by the millipedes. Their chief has demanded a challenge. We must choose a champion. You are the one. I know you have never competed in athletics before. Indeed, I sympathise with your love of music. However, I am the chief. I have long experience. I judge that with your build, together with four weeks of serious training at the gymnasium, you would do well for us. Please give serious consideration to my proposal. At first, Pete thought he must be hearing things. Why him? He, who dreamed his day away while harmonies danced and vibrated from the top of his head to the tips of his toes. He, Pete, the music lover, being chosen to represent his centipede tribe at athletics. Then, in his mind's eye, he saw the gruelling weeks of training. No, he couldn't accept. It would kill him. Then he imagined the young centipedes screaming in terror as the millipedes raided the playground. Why did the chief have to select him? Why not one of the sporting types? Why not one of the true athletes? Have you considered my proposal, Pete? The chief quietly persisted. Finally, Pete decided that he must do his best to solve this problem. He knew it was his duty. Those next four weeks were an ordeal. Pete battled with his body and he wrestled with his mind. He struggled to enhance his skills. He persevered. The day came and the millipede fought hard, but by round eight, Pete had won. Having performed this great duty, Pete felt that his life was more meaningful. He had contributed to the life of the whole centipede tribe. 
his strength and courage had been used to save his people. He felt complete. These days, Pete is ancient, 108 in centipede years. In the twilight, young centipedes often gather round to hear his stories of centipede life. Usually, with a faraway look in his eyes, he begins, Duty, my dears, duty. Let me tell you how I was called upon to perform a great and difficult duty. Words we've used Honest Centipede Conscientious Concrete Gymnasium Extreme Pursuit Compete Eccentric Delete Sympathize Obsolete Ancient Theme Twilight Uniform Athlete Student Music Pupil Human Museum Junior Universe Some new words Musical Humanity Usually Stupidity Truthful Universal Athletic Completion Read aloud English expressions Word Phrase Sentence Complete A complete surprise Winning the raffle came as a complete surprise Supreme A supreme effort It took a supreme effort to defeat the champion Extreme In extreme circumstances In extreme circumstances, many people weep. Suitably Suitably dressed After an hour's preparation, I was suitably dressed for the wedding. Ancient An ancient civilization An ancient civilization built the pyramids.